Hi guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hi teacher. Hello. Welcome guys to the class. Thank you very much for joining just on time. And well, today we're going to continue with session number two, right? And we're going to um Hi, good, evening. Hi, Rosita. good evening welcome to the class we're going to continue with the topic that we studied yesterday right which is um like the very first part right of section number one remember that the idea for i would say for the first week is to cover sections one two and three okay and then um we have you know next week so we can have some time for us to work on uh, on any doubts you know anything that probably we couldn't work on during the first week and then you move on to the exam right so that's what we're going to what we're going to do just let me go ahead and share the screen just give me one moment uh, one second let me see okay there we go so this is your session number two, right? And today is March 2nd. Yesterday, we talked a little bit on, a, I would say, the dates, right? We talked a little bit on the dates and we were saying that for us to be able to talk about dates, we need to use uh, ordinal numbers, right? Instead of using cardinal numbers, right? And yesterday also, talk, we talked a little bit on how to say our birthday, right? How to um, say our favorite month, right? And also we practice a little bit the pronunciation of the months. We practice a little bit the pronunciation of the, um, uh, I think it was months. Yeah, only months, right? And then the pronunciation of the ordinal numbers. Now, today we're going to continue with the topic that we um, started, um, you know, yesterday, right? Just let me get out here. I mean, open the list of the participants. One second. Okay, very good. So uh, pretty much what we're going to do is the following. We're going to talk about the future with be going to, right? And do you remember the word? Do you remember the word that we uh, mentioned yesterday? What was the word that we used to um, to generalize? I would say the concept. Uh, the concept. I'm sorry of um, going to. Okay. ¿Cuál era la palabra con la que identificamos going to? Do you remember? Plants. <laughs> plans okay Intentions. it was a plan it's a plan intention right so generally when we're talking about going to we're talking about plans and intentions right let me open up the chat as well just in case okay very good plans and intentions right plan and intentions uh, generally that's what we are making reference of right with uh, with going to uh, we also said that going to is not a tense, right? No es un tense. Going to is just an expression that we use to express future um, meaning, right? Dijimos que no es un tense en sí, sino que es una estructura que se utiliza para ese sentido, okay? And also we read the conversation yesterday, we read the conversation and from the conversation we took some of the sentences, right, that we were going to use. And then we got this structure that you can see on screen, right? We said that um, also we need some elements. ¿Cuáles son esos elementos que necesitamos en going to, guys? What, what, are, what is that important element that help us to build going to a structure? ¿Qué necesitamos ahí en ese going to? ¿Cuáles son esos elementos? Object. Excellent, right? And who is the helper? Who is the helper? No, no sería who porque no es una persona, perdón. So, which is the helper in this uh, case? ¿Qué es lo que nos está ayudando para construirlo? Going to? Verb to be. Verb to be. Very good. Okay, so we need verb be. Right. If we have the verb be right, we're going to have our uh, structure complete. 
right? So verb is very important. And yesterday uh, I was explaining a little bit on how important it is, you know, to make up the sentences. Si nosotros queremos traducirlo al español, pues es un poquito difícil, ¿verdad? Entonces lo importante es que entendamos que lo necesitamos como un auxiliar para que nos ayude a formar la estructura. Okay, entonces, um, whenever we're talking, or I'm sorry, whenever we're using going to, lo que estamos expresando es un voy a, que es nuestro equivalente en español. Ah, voy a ver televisión hoy en la noche, voy a desayunar mañana temprano para salir temprano, uh, voy a ordenar mi ropa, verdad, para estar listo mañana temprano, etc. I'm going to eat breakfast in the morning. I'm going to prepare my clothes for tomorrow or I'm going to prepare my uniforms right for tomorrow. And I'm going to uh, eat breakfast early so I can leave early tomorrow, right? So whenever I'm talking about future intentions, future plans, I'm going to use going to. And then guys, um, we have the structure of the questions, but I would rather wait. Voy a esperar un momento. First, I would like to do something. I would like to have a quick practice on affirmative and negative, and then I'm going to move to the question form, okay? So uh, here is what I was mentioning before. We said that going to is not a tense. No es un tiempo verbal, right? It is just, a, it's just an expression, right? It's just an expression to talk about the future or to make reference of the future, right? So that's what a uh, going to is. And we said also that we can use some expressions, right? Those expressions that I can use with going to are tomorrow, tonight, next week, next month, next year, in a few hours, right? In a few days, by next week, etc. Now, what happens here? ¿Qué sucede? Ayer hablábamos que going to lo vamos a utilizar cuando estamos seguros, ¿verdad? Cuando hay un plan, cuando hay algo bien, de, bien específico, bien determinado, right? Eh, that's what I'm going to use going to, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí hay que eh, tener cuidado cuando ya lo vemos con otras estructuras, ¿ok? So, um, yesterday we said also that when it comes to going to, a lo que se refiere going to, Como ustedes lo acaban de mencionar hace un momento, I need the following formula, right? I need my subject, I need my verb be, I need going to, I need a verb, and I need a complement, right? So there you have some examples, and we have to pay close attention, right? Hay que poner mucha atención, we have to pay close attention to, um, to, the, um, to the views of verb be. Yo no puedo decir... She are going to, no, because it's not plural. So she is going to visit her grandparents, right? Yo no puedo decir I are going to, no, right? I, I know that is I am, the verb be uh, that I'm going to use for the subject pronoun I is am. So I am going to sing at the party, etc. right? So we have to be very careful with the singular and plural forms, okay? Let's see. Eso es lo mismo que vimos ayer. So, and then we said that if it is the negative form, si es negativo, right, all what I want to do, or I'm sorry, all what you're going to do is to use not for the verb be. So that means the verb be in the negative form, okay? So I need a subject, right? I need the verb be, am, um, is, and are, plus not, okay? But it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to use I'm not, isn't, or aren't. Las dos están correctas, right? And then going to plus the verb and any complement that you would like to add. Examples, I'm not going to sink at the party. She's not going to sink at the party. And you're not going to sink at the party, right? So we have those um, examples which are similar to the ones in the positive form, okay? Now, what happens? Well, I'm going to put it into practice. Lo vamos a poner en práctica, okay? Así que I need you guys to think right now and I will give you two minutes. Just así con sus ojitos y luego lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. No se preocupe. Take a look at the, at the, at the chunks. Estos son chunks. Chunks son como pedacitos, ¿verdad? 
those are chunks. And what you're going to do is to think uh, and apply the structure, right? Let me go ahead and prepare it here. Give me one second. Y lo vamos a ir haciendo a modo de que todos participen. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this here. Vaya. Levanten las manitas si quieren participar y manténgala ahí en alto para yo poder tomar de ahí, ¿ok? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? My teacher. Vamos a hacer oraciones, ¿ok? Solo levantan la mano aquí en el chat. Eh, Paola, ese es un aplauso, creo yo. Tiene que ser la manita o no, no encuentra la, la manita. Ajá. Ok, veamos. Vamos a comenzar. Carmen, Carmen Lobo, soy sí, me parece una manita acá. Ok, la manita, si ustedes se van en la parte de abajo, porque si no, no me aparece aquí en la, en la pantalla. Tiene que irse a... Bueno, es que como les aparece a ustedes. Abren la parte donde están los participantes, ¿verdad? Y ahí en, la, en esa parte les aparecen las opciones para levantar la mano, ¿ok? Entonces ahí pueden darle clic a levantar la mano. Vamos a ver, solo déjenme abrir acá la presentación. Y vamos a ponerlo en práctica. Vaya. So, Carmencita Lobos. Carmencita, are you here? Yeah, I'm Excellent. here. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so what do you think about the first one? Okay, so how do you make up your sentence? I am going to work at the office. Okay, very good. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to delete here. I am going to work at the office. Very good, okay? I am going to work at the office. Excellent. And you know what? We're going to change the color of this. Okay, very good. What about you, eh, Jose David? What about you? What about number two? What do you think? Oops. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So the tell second, me. The second, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, are, you are going to dance salsa. You are going to dance, to dance salsa. Salsa, very good, okay. Excellent, thank you very much. What about you, Roberto Carlos Petanco? Okay, teacher, the mm -hmm. third, mm -hmm. the third? Yes. It's going to rain. Okay, very good. You can say it's or it is, right? It's or it is going to rain. Very good. Y bueno, ¿y por qué utilizo eh, going to, teacher, con ya va a llover? Ah, porque yo estoy viendo una evidencia. Yo estoy viendo que el cielo está a un lado, ¿verdad? Entonces tengo evidencia suficiente para decir que algo está a punto de pasar. Y en ese caso mi predicción es que va a llover. ¿Por qué? Porque veo que ya las nubes está súper oscuro, ¿verdad? Veo también que la temperatura ha bajado, etc. Right? Entonces, I, I'm saying it's going to rain. Es, está a punto de suceder algo. Okay? What about the next one, Carlos Crespin? Carlos? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, they are going to ask a question. Very good. They are going to ask a question. Okay. Excellent, very good. Give me one second. Just let me move on this one here. And we're going to change the color so you can see it in a different color. Okay, they are going to ask a question, perdón, a question. Excellent. The next one, let's see Arnulfo, please. Arnulfo Menhild. Okay, I'm here. Tell um, me. He's, okay, he's going to stay at the hotel. He is going to stay at the hotel, right? So he's going to stay at the hotel. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Veronica? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, we are going to speak French. We are going to speak French, right? We're going to speak French. Very good. Excellent. Okay. What about the next one? Let's see, Rosita. Um, I, mm -hmm. I, 
I go. Okay, I am going. Go. To give. To give. From. Candy. Candy. Candies, okay. I'm going to give some candies. For example, when we are celebrating, uh, what's the name of this? Um, Halloween, right? <laughs> when we celebrate Halloween, uh, we uh, give away some candies, right? I'm going to give some candies. Very good. What about the next one? Let's see. Uh, bueno, quizá voy a regresar porque no veo más manitas. Uh, what about uh, Carmen? Carmencita, would you help me with the next one? Yes, teacher. Thank you. She's going to try the software. Okay, she's going to try the soft software, right? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Jose David? What about the next one? Jose David, are you there? Sorry, teacher. No problem. Active, active the, the mute. Okay, they, no problem. They, they, they are going to help at home. Very good. They are, oops, they are going to, uh, going to help mm -hmm. at home. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, David. What about the next one, Roberto Carlos? Hey, teacher. Thank you. He's going to push the door. Okay, very good. He is going to push the door. He is going to push the door. Excellent, very good. So as you can see guys, uh, I think the structure is pretty simple, right? ¿Qué es lo que tengo que poner atención, teacher? Entonces, the verb be. Okay, perdón, que, acuérdense que yo no lo veo acá porque aquí tengo la otra pantalla, entonces aquí es donde voy trabajando para que ustedes lo vean acá. Entonces decíamos, eh, yes, actually when it comes to, um, when it comes to the things that we have to pay attention to, we have verb be. Right, so uh, you see the verb be, it's very important, okay, verb be. And also the other thing that you have to pay attention to is the, um, the verb, right? Entonces, yo mis verbos no los tengo que modificar, no hay necesidad de modificar nada, nada, nadita. ¿Por qué? Porque la estructura ya así es, ¿verdad? Y este, pues, no lo tengo que cambiar, ¿verdad? Así que esa es la forma, this is the way in which we're going to work with the affirmative form, okay? Very good. Now, let's move on. I'm going to continue here. Let's move on. And we're going to switch to the following. But this one, I want to do with it. I mean, I want to perform this activity in an oral way. Vamos a ver volunteers, but this time in an oral way, okay? Uh, volunteers, los que están acá pueden participar de nuevo si usan. Si no bajan la mano, pues sí, la oportunidad, okay? So let me see, Carlos Crespin, what about you? What about number one? Tell me. Number one? Okay, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to cook dinner tonight. He's going to cook dinner tonight. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much. What about the next one? Let's see, um, Roberto Carlos, Roberto Carlos. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. You are going to run in the race. Excellent, right? You're going to run in the race. Very good. What about Karen? What about Karen? Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Karen. Mm -hmm. They are going to climb that mountain. They are going to climb that mountain. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yes? I have a question. Dígame. Is the, the pronunciation montaña? Mountain. Mountain. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to give you here an example. Mountain. Give me one moment. Okay. I was saying that... Um, no sé si en la, en, en, la, part, la vez anterior yo les compartí eso a los demás. Quiero ver. Give me one second. Hay, alguien me estuvo escribiendo 
porque no se acordaba como eso lo había explicado para buscarlo en internet. Let me see. No, no, no me aparece acá, pero I'm going to play it for you. Let me see. Share conversation. Wait, it's loading. Bye. Whenever you have a question, guys, let me stop sharing here. I'm going to close this. I'm going to stop sharing here and I'm going to start sharing the other section of the screen. Bye. Can you see uh, uh, Google? Yes, yes very, I can see. Very good. So whenever you have a question, right, you can come here um, and you, this is a, just an example, okay, it's schedule, pronunciation. And then it gives you here the word, but if you want, you can switch it, right? So you can go ahead and switch it to a different word, right? So uh, it can be any other word. So what you do is that you come here, you type the word, and you type the word pronunciation here. And then if you see, schedule, it, give you, it gives you the pronunciation. Or if you want to listen to it slowly, so let me click in slow. Schedule. And you can uh, listen to the word, you know, slowly. And then it gives you the option to practice. You click here. Schedule. And it gives you the, 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 the chance to pronounce it. So it says, good job, right? Ahora vamos a escuchar como lo dije yo. Schedule. Schedule. Okay. And it, the computer took it as correct. So whenever you have a question about how to pronounce a word, you can use this uh, uh, option in Google, right? It's very useful. So I'm going to give you here the link. Solo para que le quede ahí el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Give me one second. Sí, porque a veces... Okay, en, el, okay, en el diccionario es como que un poco confuso a veces. Entonces, por supuesto, para usar la pronunciación del diccionario tenemos que saber conocer un poquito de los sonidos, ¿verdad? Que se utilizan ahí, la simbología. Pero es un poco más complicado. Mejor me vengo para acá y aquí puedo yo este, buscarlo. So I'm going to stop sharing here. And let me see... One second. Ahí está. Okay, so it's mountain, right? Mountain. Mount. Como mount, pero mountain. Okay? So this is mountain. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mountain. Okay, let me start sharing the um the presentation again. Y me quedé con Karen. No sé si fue Karen o Roberto Carlos. ¿Quién fue, chicos? Uh, me, teacher. ¿verdad que sí? Vaya, thank you very much. Uh, let me see, Harrison. What about you, Harrison? Uh, please, number four. Number four. Number four. four. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's going to exercise at the gym. Excellent, right? She's going to exercise at the gym. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Carmencita? Okay, mm -hmm. you are going to carry that heavy box. You are going to carry that heavy box. Very good. Aquí había visto a um, Gabriela Gómez. Would you like to participate, Gabi? Yeah. Excellent. Go ahead. A computer was going crash. Is. 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 Repeat it one more time. Computer is going to crash. Very good, right? In this case, the computer, right? You can add the computer. Uso the porque es algo específico, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál computadora? Esta. The computer. The computer is going to crash, ¿verdad? Cuando nos pasa que de repente no vimos ya que está súper lenta, very slow. And then you see that you got stuck on one of the activities and the mouse is 
just not moving, right? So the computer is going to crash, right? Y luego pues toca el botón, el botonazo, right? Then we got the next one. Uh, let me see. Silvia, what about you, Silvita? And then Veronica. Silvia? We are eat fish tonight. We are going to, we are going to eat fish tonight. Excellent. Very good. We're going to eat fish tonight. Excellent. What about you? Let's see, Veronica. He is going to play football tomorrow. Excellent. He's going to play football tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, let me see who else. Levanten las manitas. No, no tengan pena de participar. Aquí nos podemos equivocar. Aquí estamos para aprender. Uh, let me see, Luis. What about you, Luis? Uh, the next one. Lucy, Lucy is going to call a taxi. Excellent. Lucy is going to call a taxi. Thank you very much. What about you, Jose David? You are going to sing a song for us. Excellent. You're going to sing a song for us. Good job, guys. Excellent. Now, Thanks. Let's, you're welcome. Let's move on. Now, that is how the affirmative, affirmative way uh, works, right? So what about the negative form? Okay, we're going to check the negative form, okay? So it says, write negative sentences using going to in the future form, okay? And for that, para eso, necesito más manitas, okay? Manitas arriba. De los que no han participado, no tengan pena, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos para aprender. Sí, claro que sí. Ahorita voy, solo abro el archivo para poderlo ir haciendo con okay. ustedes, okay? So the first person that I have in the list is Arnulfo. Arnulfo, what about you? Can you help me, please? Uh, okay, I am not going to sell my car. Okay, I am not going to sell my car. I am not going to sell my car. Excellent. Now, in this case, okay. you can use it contract the contraction or you can just leave it like that. It doesn't matter, okay? I mean, if you want to use the full form, it's totally fine. If you want to use the contraction, it's totally fine as well. Um, lo que sí les dije yo ayer es que cuando estén escribiendo, eso sí, ¿verdad? It's better for you to write the full form, okay? But if you're speaking... Both options are totally fine, okay? What about you, Silvita? What about the next one? He isn't going to help us. Okay, he isn't going to help us. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. And what about the next one? Let's see, Veronica. What about you? Uh, they aren't going to study harder. They aren't going, going, <laughs> going to study harder, right? They, are, they aren't going to study harder. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. What about you, Fernando? Lo siento por el ruido, pero no tengo ni niños ni perritos. Ya les había contado los alumnos el mes anterior, pero mis vecinos tienen todas esas cosas por mí. Ok. <laughs> ok. Así que, Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Go ahead. Okay. We aren't cook dinner tonight. Mm, ¿Qué nos hace falta ahí? We aren't. Ah, sorry. We aren't going to cook dinner tonight. Going to cook, right? To cook dinner tonight. Excellent. We aren't going to cook dinner tonight. I'm going to change the color. Thank you very much. And what about the next person? Let's see, what about you, um, Herson? No, Jose David. Jose David tengo después de, uh -huh. Jose David? Oops, I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I am not, I am not going to, uh -huh. I am not going to celebrate my birthday this year. Okay, espero que no sea cierto. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I am not going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, it's a sentence. <laughs> okay, it's just a sentence, right? Very yeah. good. Thank you very much. So I am not going to celebrate my birthday this year, but this year. Okay, what about the next one? Let's see, the next person I have is Herson. What about you, Herson? She isn't going to cleaning her room. She isn't going to repeat. Cleaning her room. Mm, what is the mistake? 
Oh, sorry. Clean. Ah, okay. Very good. She's, she isn't yeah. going to clean her room, right? Yes. Very good. What about the next person? Uh, let's see. After, it was Herson, right? After Herson, I have Luis. They, they aren't move house. Mm. Ah, no, 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 perdón, perdón. Mm -hmm. They aren't going to move house. They aren't going to move. Uh, they aren't going to move. Yo le voy a ayudar aquí. From their house. De su casa, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí como que hizo falta algo más para darle sentido. From their house, ¿ok? So, yeah, uh, they aren't going to move from their house. Okay, no se van a ir de su casa, no se van a mover, right? What about the next one? Let's see, the next person that I have here is Carmen. Carmen, what about you? She isn't going to stay with Amy. She isn't going to stay with Amy. Amy. Very good, excellent, thank you very much. The next person I have here uh, that was Carmencita. Jimmy, what about you, Jimmy Torres? Uh, they are mm -hmm. not going to change their clothes. Okay, very good. They aren't, you said, right? Going to change their clothes, right? Their clothes, very good. They aren't going to change their clothes. Very good. And the last one, I have Roberto Carlos. Y luego los demás no van en la manita porque yo los continuaré este, incluyendo en la próxima actividad, okay? So, it says, um, Roberto Carlos, please. Okay, teacher. We are, go we, are, we are not going to get up early next Sunday. Okay, we are not going to get up early next Sunday, right? Yeah, okay. We aren't going to get up early next Sunday. Very good. Okay, guys, good job. Tengo una duda. Dígame, dígame. Are we get early next Sunday? Se puede poner también we aren't going to. Sí, es que yo lo utilizo así como él me lo dijo. Está correcto. We are not going to get up early next Sunday o we aren't going to get up early on Sunday. Las dos están correctas. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Ok, guys. So, ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No questions. Muy bien. So, wow, actually you're doing a great job, guys. Muy buen trabajo. Ok, when it comes to um, the affirmative and negative form, of a, the uh, going to a structure, right? So now, I have this activity, guys. This is like an, uh, let, me, let me just uh, pronounce it the proper way. Uh, let me see if I, if I can um, play the uh, pronunciation. That's gonna be, uh, dígame. ¿Qué significa Machu Picchu? Machu Picchu? Machu Picchu ¿Sí? es una estructura bellísima que sí. está en Perú, en el Cusco, creo yo. Ya se lo voy a mostrar. Es esta estructura, mira. El Machu Picchu. Y está mal escrito, por cierto. Creo que Machu Picchu lleva... Lleva dos, dos letras C. Ahí es esta. Eh, it's the 15th century Inca Citadel. Located in the eastern cordillera, cordillera of southern Peru, dice. Ahorita se los comparto. Creo que es un destino turístico eh, anhelado por muchos, ¿verdad? Maricho, es este. Mira, Rosita. Uh, uh -huh. It's beautiful, you see. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's located in Perú. Ok. Mm, el Cusco. Uh -huh. So this is Machu Picchu. Ok. Entonces hay un viaje. It's a trip to Machu Picchu, right? So I'm going okay. to stop sharing here. Uh -huh. And this is something that actually we could call, um, let me see, uh, itinerary, itinerary. Wait. 
Ok. Se lo voy a compartir. Share screen. It's going to be this one. Ok. Es un itinerario. Ok. Eso es un itinerario. Cuando yo tengo un viaje y pues yo tengo ahí como la lista de todas las cosas que voy a hacer. And you pronounce it like this. Listen. Oh, let me see if I have... Share computer is on. Yes, ahí está. Ok. Listen. Itinerary. 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 Right? And then if you want to listen to it slowly. Itinerary. Escucharon? Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Ok, so, ¿qué les estoy mostrando? ¿La presentación o la pronunciación de itinerario? The pronunciation. The pronunciation. Ah, ok. Very good. So, itinerary. 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 Okay. Itinerary. Very good. So let me stop sharing. And I'm going to start sharing uh, the presentation again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me see. It's this one. Very good. Here we have the itinerary, right? And we have uh, five different dates. Okay. So it says August 18th. We're leaving from Toronto, right? So leave uh, Toronto and then fly to Lima. On August the 19th, um, oh, remember that, right? Como estamos hablando de fechas, usamos la preposition on, right? On August 18th, leave Toronto, fly to Lima, and then also August 19th, arrive to Lima in the morning, fly to Cusco in the afternoon, stay at the Hotel Monasterio, uh, visit Palacio del Almirante, Santo Domingo Church. Eh, it says Cusco three days. O sea que se van a quedar tres días en el Cusco. Eh, then we got, eh, let me move on the camera here. Then we got on August 23rd, it says state train to Machu Picchu. Visit the, ruin, the ruins. Uh, return to Cusco in the evening. August 24th, on August 24th, eh, it says fly to Lima. Stay at the Hotel Rio Miraflor, visit the Gold Museum, uh, two days in Lima, it says. And August 26, leave Lima and arrive in Toronto. So you're coming back, right, to uh, Canada. Vaya, chicos. How can we express? Because actually, if you see, this is a plan. Eso es un plan. Un itinerario es un plan ya establecido de todas las cosas o todas las actividades que vamos a hacer, okay? Entonces, we're going to start, and I want you to use information to make up sentences, okay? So let me open up the participants' uh, information here, okay? Los que les había dicho que me esperaran con la manita arriba, ahí están, ¿verdad? So let me see, Arnulfo, Arnulfo, what about you? I want you to use the date and the information that you have here. Pero vamos a hablarlo como que somos nosotros los que nos vamos de viaje. Qué chido sería, ¿no? ¿ok? Como que somos nosotros, ¿ok? So, yo voy a hacer la primera oración, ¿ok? I'm going to help you with number one. And then I want you to help me with the, with the next one. Eh, let me see. Text. Very good. So, let's go ahead and start. So, yo voy a utilizar lo que está ahí y voy a decir lo siguiente. On... August 18th, we are going, oops, we are going to leave Toronto, okay, Toronto. On August 19th, 18th, I'm sorry, August 18th, we are going to leave Toronto. And then Arnulfo, how would you say the next sentence? You can invent, puede inventar la hora, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Porque aparentemente oh, okay. es la noche de todo esto, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm trying. Um, on, on December? No, ahí está la fecha, August 18. Ah. Yo ya hice la primera, que es Leave Toronto. Ahora usted va con Fly to Lima. Fly to Lima. Hmm. Fly to Lima. Sí, es lo que están viendo la pantalla, ¿verdad? La presentación. Yes, teacher. Bye, bye, okay. Yes. Yeah, teacher. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, on December, I am going to fly to Cusco in the afternoon. Stay oh. at the hotel. Okay, so sería on 
August 18th, we mm. are going to fly to Lima in the, you said in the evening or in the afternoon, perdón. Afternoon. In the afternoon, okay. So, on August 18th, we're going to fly to Lima in the afternoon. Okay, very good. Then, the next one, let me see. What about you, Luis? Ahora ya vamos al siguiente día. Estamos hablando de nuestros planes para este viaje, okay? Ya tenemos el itinerario y como ya es un plan establecido, vamos a usar going to para expresarnos, okay? What about the next one? Uh, at the eight o'clock, at the eight o'clock, arrive to Lima. Pero, pero y el verbo? At the eight o'clock, going to, going to, going to arrive. Pero quién es? Uh, at the eight o'clock, we are Muy going bien. to arrive. Mm -hmm. To Lima. In Lima. Okay. So actually at 8 o'clock in the morning, right? Porque aquí dice arrive to Lima in the morning. So at 8 o'clock in the morning, right? In the morning, we are going to arrive, arrive, okay? Arrive in Lima. Thank you very much, Liz. Good job. What about you, Carmencita? What about the next one? On August 19th. Okay. We are going to fly mm -hmm. to Cusco in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In You're the welcome. afternoon. Very good. ¿Y qué más voy a hacer ese día? Ah, we are going to stay at the Hotel Monasterio, right? And we are mm -hmm. going We are going to stay. to stay at the Hotel Monasterio. Yo diría at the Monasterio, right? Monasterio okay. Hotel. Thank you very much. Excellent. You're welcome. Okay, so these are some examples. Ahora los demás, please help me, pero esta vez ya in a speaking way, in a normal way, okay? So what about the next one, okay? Let me see, uh, Rosita, what about you? We are... We are, uh, we are, we are going to visit. Correct. El que va a visitar, Rosita. Visit Palacio de Almirante. And? And, and. And Santo Domingo Church. Church. Very good. So we are going to visit Palacio del Admirante and Santo Domingo Church. And we are going to stay in Cusco for how many days? Three days. Excellent. We're going to stay in Cusco for three days. Excellent. Thank you very much. What about you, Harrison? The next one, August 23rd. Okay, on August 23rd, we are going to take train to Machu Picchu. Excellent, thank you very much. We're going to take train to Machu Picchu, right? What about the next one? Let me see, Jose David. Okay, on August 23rd, we are going to visit the ruins. Excellent. Let me listen to this. Ruin. 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 Ruins. 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 Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Ruins. Thank you very much, Jose David. What about okay, you? Sure. Let's see, uh, Fernando, the next one. Okay. After that, we are going to return to Cusco in the evening. 
Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much, Fernando. What about you, Roberto Carlos? August 24th. Hey, teacher, in August 24th, on, we are... On. 24th, on August. Oh, August. On August 24th, mm -hmm. we are going to fly to Lima and we are going to stay at the Hotel Rio Miraflor. Excellent. Thank you very much. Good job, Roberto Carlos. What about you, Carlos Crispi? On August 24th, and we are going to visit the Gold Museum. Museum. Today okay. in Lima. Okay, thank you. And we are going to stay, right? We are going to stay two days in Lima. Thank you very much. What about August 26, Karen? And on August 26, we are going to leave Lima. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Well, Karen, can you help me with the last one? Because I don't have more volunteers here. And after that, we are going to arrive in Toronto. Well, guys, good job. Excellent. Okay. So um, here, it's, it was like a recap, right? Whenever we're talking about plans, whenever we're talking about things that are already um, established, right? We, we, ha we already know the place. We already know the time. We already know the date, right? We're going to use going to, right? And uh, this is the way in which we're going to do it. If I'm pretty sure that that activity is going to take place on that specific date at that specific time, so I'm going to use going to, okay? Do you have any questions so far? Pregunta, chicos? Questions so far? No questions. Okay. Very good. Now, as I was no sharing with you, dígame. No, no, no questions. <laughs> no questions. Okay. Very good, guys. Igual, si ustedes tienen preguntas, no importa. Me puede interrumpir en cualquier momento, pues sí. Yo con mucho gusto le contesto sus preguntas. Eh, recuerden, solamente antes de pasar al siguiente punto, eh, eh, la realización de las actividades, ¿verdad? Esta semana, pues nuestra meta es eh, sections 1, 2, and 3, ¿verdad? Y pues la parte de la sección 1 es la que estamos desarrollando y pues casi toda se trata acerca de eso, going to. Pero igual si usted se adelanta o si usted tiene una pregunta de algún ejercicio o hay alguna cuestión que no se comprendió o el ejercicio pues dio problema, don't worry, you can let me know and I will help you here. De hecho, pues para los que no han estado con, con, con nosotros en el módulo anterior, eh, si hay algún ejercicio con el que se tiene problemas, pues lo hacemos acá en vivo y en directo y lo hacemos entre todos para cuando haya alguna pregunta, ¿ok? Así pues alguien más que tenga la misma pregunta se la resolvemos en el momento también o ya no la va a tener porque ya la contestamos, ¿ok? Entonces, I was saying guys that... Ay, qué molesto las cositas estas, ¿ok? I was saying that the last thing is a question form, ¿ok? Now, question form, guys... Um, Siempre, siempre que nosotros pues tenemos la oportunidad, bueno, en mi caso, ¿verdad? De hablar de, 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 de la parte de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Sus compañeritos, ¿verdad? También algunos de ustedes ya saben que tenemos dos tipos de preguntas. ¿Cuáles son esos dos tipos de preguntas? Veamos. Ajá. Two types of questions that we have. Yes, no question. Probably yes, question. Very good. We have just no questions or, ¿cuál es el nombre de la otra? Que nos acaban de dar ahí una pista que dijeron WH questions. Information questions. Excellent. Very good. So we have information questions and we have just no questions. And we already know, right, that if I have a just no question, the two only answers that I'm going to get is a yes or no. But if I have information questions, so I'm looking for a very specific piece of information, Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next slide, okay? Um, perdón, ahí estaban las preguntas que íbamos a contestar, pero ya lo hicimos de otra forma. So it says conversation, have a good Valentine's Day. That's uh, the title of the conversation um, section, me, right? Me, teacher. Oh, okay, excellent. So Roberto Carlos is going to participate. ¿Quién más va a ayudar con la conversation? Teacher. 
Me too, teacher. Vaya, José David dice, ok. Very good. Solo levánteme la manita para ir tomándolo de aquí de la, de la sección, ok. Entonces, so I'm going to have right now Roberto Carlos and let me pair you. Uh, lo vamos a pedir a, a Gaby. Gaby Gómez, you're going to help me with Roberto Carlos. Roberto, you're going to be Tyler. And then, uh, Gaby, you're going to help me with the lady, ok. So it says, so, Tyler. Are you going to do anything? Pero primero la leo yo y luego la leen ustedes. Okay, so Gaby and, and Roberto Carlos. So, it says, so, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to a restaurant, but I'm going to go um, to dance, to a dance, right? Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and practice uh, Roberto Carlos and Gabby. Let's start. Gabby, you begin. Hi, Mona. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to take my girlfriend, girlfriend out for dinner. Lagunas, eat her favorite restaurant. How about you? What are you going to do? Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, thank you. Now I need the help of Irma and uh, please, no sé quién me dijo yo después. Que no sé si fue José Me David. Teacher. And Arnulfo, yo, teacher. Arnulfo, 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 okay. Then, then, ¿quién dijo yo? Yo. <laughs> no, es que hubo alguien, hubieron dos personitas, pero Arnulfo. Me, teacher. Ajá. Hello, teacher. Okay, very Yo, good. teacher. Very good. So, Arnulfo, please, and Irma. Irma, you begin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tyler, I... Hola? Sí, usted comienza. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Tyler, are you going to anything special for Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Um, Laguna. Laguna is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What about you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to dance. Song like fun. Well... Have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you very much. Karen, you're going to go next, and then I have uh, Fernando. Yeah. Okay. You begin. So, okay. So, Tyler. 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 You, Tyler. So, Tyler. Tyler. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? What, what are you oh. going to do? To Laguna. go? Oh, Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well... I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to dance, to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Thank you very much. Okay, y por el tiempo, los últimos dos, perdón chicos, si no los pude incluir a todos. Eh, Silvia, can you help me please? And then I have uh, the next person, Carlos Crespin. Es que iba tomando a alguien del final y alguien del principio para ir... Así, ¿verdad? En la línea, pero ya no pude con... No, 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 no. So, Silvita, can you begin, please? Yes. 
So, Tyler, are you going to to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go a dance. So, life. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, excellent, guys. Good job. Thank you very much for your participation. La verdad que fueron maestros, pues eso valió muchísimo su participación. Lástima que no puedo ponerlos a todos, pero thank you for the ones that helped me. Ahora bien, chicos, como ya sabemos que tenemos dos tipos de preguntas, okay, let's go ahead and very quickly con los últimos minutitos que nos quedan, okay? Let's go ahead and get the questions, okay, that we can uh, find here in this uh, particular conversation, okay? So what is the very first question that we can find? What is the first question that we can find? Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Excellent. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's, right? Valentine's, oops. Valentine's Day, okay, very good. What is the second question? Where, where, are, you where are you going to go? Excellent. Where are you? Where are you going to go? Going to go, very good. Okay, what about the next question? What are how, you going to how about you? Okay, what are you? going to do okay it también está how about you now how about you it's a very good expression verdad cuando yo no quiero repetir esa misma pregunta porque por ejemplo le dice ah dónde está ah, qué le dice oh she's going to like that okay pero la, la pregunta es where are you going to go right Algunas. it's a favorite restaurant oh she's going to like that how about you o sea where are you going to go ¿Dónde vas a ir tú? Pero para no repetir la misma pregunta, entonces vengo yo y digo, how about you? ¿Qué hay de ti? ¿Verdad? Ok. Very good. Eh, tenemos, what are you going to do? Very good. Creo que esa es la última, ¿verdad? Ok. De las tres preguntas que hemos sacado, ¿tenemos una yes no question? ¿O no? Yes. 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 ¿Cuál? Which one? Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Excellent. Excellent. So, this is a yes, no question. Muy buen trabajo, chicos. Tenemos que aprender a identificar cuáles son las yes, no questions. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque para esta pregunta o solo hay yes, I am, ¿verdad? O no, I am not, ¿verdad? Sí lo voy a hacer o no lo voy a hacer, ¿verdad? Pero para las otras dos, ¿qué sucede? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son, chicos? Information question. WH question. Information questions, que le conocemos también como WH questions, ¿ok? Pero, pues en mi caso prefiero llamarles information questions. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo digo, where are you going to go? What is the answer? ¿Cuál es la respuesta? A place. A place, okay, exactly. I'm looking for very specific information and that very specific information is a place. And in the conversation, what is the place? Lagunas. Exactly, it's Lagunas, right? Lagunas, que al final is a restaurant. restaurant. Por lo tanto, is a place, okay? And then, What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yo no puedo decir yes, no, ¿verdad? No, porque estoy, estoy siendo bien específica. ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer? What are you going to do? Okay. Entonces, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a thing, right? Entonces, ¿cuál sería esa respuesta en la conversación? What are you going to do? She's going to dance. To a dance. She's okay. going to a dance. Very good. Uh, yeah, she's going to a dance. She, oops, sorry. She is going to a dance, right? She's going to a dance, okay? So as you can see, this is the structure. 
¿Cuáles son los elementos que necesitamos, chicos? Vamos a ver, el, el, vamos a comenzar con las yes no questions. ¿Cuál sería el primer elemento? ¿Cuál sería el primer elemento? Sería... To be. Bird to, to be. be. Bird to be. Bird to be, muy bien. Ok, luego del bird to be, ¿qué necesito? Subject. 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 Luego del subject. Going to. Going, going to. to. Going going to. to. Luego de going to. Bird. 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 Y luego. De complement. 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 Y al final. Complement. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Muy bien. Si usted se fija, esa estructura que yo tengo ahí se va a mantener. La única diferencia es que cuando yo tengo WH questions, I mean WH words, ellas se posicionan al principio. Si es, puede ser una WH word o dijimos una WH phrase. Si es una WH phrase, entonces es como por ejemplo, what time? What time are you going to go to Cusco? What time are you going to go to, the, or what time are you going to visit your parents, right? Entonces, cuando yo ocupo what time, esa es una WH phrase, porque es una frase. Debo el, el, ta, el what y luego time. Pero esas llevan solo WH word, que son where and what. Por lo tanto, la fórmula para estas preguntas, yo comienzo, sería WH, WH word o WH phrase. Y luego necesitamos el qué? There to be. be. Then? There to be. Subject. 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 Going, going, to, to, going to, going to, going to, and there, 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 question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Ahí porque no hay complemento, pero generalmente hay complemento. Ok. Bueno, chicos, el tiempo se me acabó, pero la verdad, pues espero que hayamos practicado un poquito y pues hayamos aprendido algo nuevo. Así de que, any question, please let me know. Sé que les debo información, ¿verdad? Aquí en el chat. Do not worry. I will share with you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for joining. Gracias por acompañarme. Les agradezco muchísimo conectarse con la participación. Excelente, chicos. You, you, were, you did great today. Así que, thank you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you have any question, let me know, okay? So, thank, thank you, you very much. For thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.